Okay, that's. I think it's safe to um, put this away, right? <laughs> You're a little late, D. Easter is so over. Hello, it's July. <laughs> and having the worst luck to upload lately. I don't know what is up with the internet. Queen G says it has to do something with the comment. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to question that. <laughs> she might be onto something. Who knows? Internet keeps failing my nephew just called and said hey auntie something's up with the internet in vegas so i don't know these are the moments where i forget my camera and i'm like darn i gotta go get my camera to vlog this stuff so we're outside enjoying dinner i had no clue what to make for dinner <laughs> what do you think of the the steak um meat what do you think of the steak um meat you know the frozen steak that we used <laughs> I just put whatever we had this and we had rice and then I added the bell pepper from our garden green bell pepper from our garden a red onion about four cloves of garlic yeah over white steamed rice what's in there hun uh, cilantro serrano peppers onion tomato and garlic. It's delicious. Hats off to you guys. It's like super warm, but dinner was a success. It's probably never gonna happen again. <laughs> Only because I don't have the pico de gallo from his friend, but you know, hey, it's interesting though. He'll put a little bit of this and put a little bit of that, and it works out. We have the zucchini here. I'm gonna give this to one of my besties. She's gonna make zucchini noodles. So Jay goes, five dollar, five dollar foot long. <laughs> no, no five dollar. That's awesome. From our garden. Oh, time to relax. Bless you. Allergies. I want to try this recipe here. It's the turkey broccoli casserole. So I'm going to go down to the grocery store. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Two pounds of ground turkey. I don't think I have that, but I got everything else for it. A 16 ounce container of sour cream. Yikes, that's a lot of sour cream. Eh. The Monterey mushroom squares. Ooh, that looks so good, you guys. Mushrooms, butter. Monterey Jack, dried oregano, and salt. Holy cow. I'm gonna drop off zucchini to my bestie. I just got done dropping off the huge zucchini over to her house. I left it on the porch uh, with my little card that I had uh, wrote to her. And so I'm here at the grocery store. I'm going to go in and grab some stuff. I have all of my coupons loaded to my card to uh, maximize those savings. And I got to get back to couponing, you guys. <laughs> it's been like a while. Jay made us a nice omelet and... Um, so that way I'm not going to the grocery store all hungry <laughs> or hangry, hungry, angry. I'm going to take my time. I am enjoying having the sunroof open, listening to music and just checking out things. There's also some garage sales going on that I passed by and I was like, oh, but I can't. Anyway, all right, I'll get back to you guys. I don't even bring my purse anymore. I just have this and I put around my belt loop, phone in my pocket. And yeah, look, I have to wear gloves. And I got my face mask. <laughs> I opened up 
the Denali and Jay totally forgot the um, the chips <laughs> from his commissary run. That's hilarious. Okay, I saved about $80 on this, so not bad day. Grocery shopping is a total new type of going into beast mode. I mean, gearing up with safety wear, sanitizing your cart, hands, and then trying to refrain from touching the vegetables and fruits to see if they're ripe or not. I'm choosing the ones already packaged, even if it's a little more costly. I mean, I'm not touching that one avocado that the guy kept squeezing at. No, thank you. I'm like getting one from way in the back, just hoping that I chose a good one. If I see too many people in the aisle, I need to go down. Then I go to another aisle to shop until it's less crowded later. Or I like it when you become in head to head to another cautioned shopper and all you need to do is make that eye contact and head gesture of I'll go this way so you can go that way then you both do that nod of agreement without even talking <laughs> what crazy times like I said what crazy times these are Marty. Huh? Hey, you got it. <laughs> I got mom's all saying, hey, stop it. Meanwhile, there's Bubba. Bubba, you want to play? You want to play? I like this game. Yeah, good. I'm glad you like it. A little harder. Oh, she almost got it. She almost got it. Wendala, Wendala. I feel like I'm at the carnival right now. There you Yay! Go. There you winner, go. winner, chicken dinner. High five. <laughs> it was a good one, Mom. It was a good one. See, smarty pants here. MacGyver. Push mine in. Push mine in. <laughs> That'd be cheating. Now she's getting it. Oh, yes! Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, that's two. Oh, that's three. <laughs> okay, here comes MacGyver. Ah, off the board. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Okay, he has his own little stuff. You're tossing him like how you bowl. <laughs> Huh. Look at mom. Mom's like, yeah, she's you know, ready. I sometimes come up with some good ideas. Just kidding. This was perfect for all of us to enjoy at home or on the go. Well, this was pretty easy, huh, to um, assemble from Amazon. I'll try to link this in below. Oh, okay. So this is already attached and you just... Nice. And then you have one that goes there. Mm -hmm. And they have another one that goes there. And then you wrap it around and then it's almost like one of those uh, visors, shade visors in your car and you just twist it and then it goes into a, uh, a case. I finally wanted to make my own butter garlic cream sauce to go over Jay's smoked salmon tonight. So I minced up some fresh garlic shallots, fresh parsley, and I added that to some melted butter, heavy cream with some added white wine, salt, and pepper. Once I perfect this recipe, I'll share that with you guys. But this is my first time. My lens is all. We're watching Sophia while well, mom is watching. I am too, Sophia, if you're watching this. Watching your sewing. Mom is really digging that video. Okay, this is really smelling so good, you guys. Oh. This recipe here is a total keeper. It added 
so much flavor to the dish and over the angel hair pasta here. Queen G had asked me to make it again and add it to the books. I actually made it the following night with shrimp, so I'll have to record my measurements next time to share with y'all. But it was delicious. Delicious. The aftermath. I love guacamole. I usually just add garlic powder, salt, pepper, minced onion, and paprika. That's it. Delicious every time as is. Let me know how you make yours in the comments down below. Like almost every day that Jay is on his way home, I always have to remember to <laughs> unlock the, um, the laundry room door because I don't let him go through the front door. I only allow him to come in from when he comes home from work the drill is to go through the side door and then he has to declothe or de wardrobe, place everything in the washer and take off his shoes, sanitize, Clorox everything, and then he heads up in the shower first thing. But lately, I don't know why, I have been forgetting to unlock, so he's like always standing on the side yard calling me on my cell phone. So I'm trying to be today, I gotta remember. All right, today is the day I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> the balloons. You guys, these were my 50th birthday balloons. Oh, can't forget the Valentine one. Boy, these lasted a long time. It feels really muggy today. Um, anyway, who? So Jay's on his way home, got done with doing that, got done with um, doing a caregiver video today. So that meant I had to do a sponge bath and I shampooed my mom's hair and then I had to change her sheets with her in it, which whew, got me pretty tired. So um, anywho, I hear Jay, I'm gonna go ahead and catch up with him. This turkey broccoli casserole dish was from one of my recipe books. I browned some ground turkey with diced onions and mushrooms, cooked a bag of frozen broccoli, and then added and mixed a can of cream of celery with some sour cream. Then tossed the cooked broccoli over the mixture and top it off with some shredded Monterey cheese before placing into a 350 degree oven for one hour. I, of course, didn't want to use as much of the cream of celery and sour cream, so I made my own version, which I will mention that I am currently revamping my Pinterest D. Levy Life. I have been creating my Pinterest to better navigate as my channel's content, especially with my recipes I try and share here with you on YouTube either in my meal planning or my vlog videos. This recipe, I wanted to create a separate pin to add in my recipes I've tried board. It's a work in progress, but you should go check it out and see what I have there. Ooh, this smells good. Nice and golden brown. And then I just tossed our favorite, favorite salad, the cucumber with uh, cherry tomatoes, a little bit of some red onion, green onion, and some chopped uh, fresh basil, all from our garden. And toss in a little bit of the Italian dressing. Nasty. All right, I am now I'm making my way back home. Nice little walk. I stop at the coffee shop though. Sailors passing on the street, are you ready for peace? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I got mom a banana muffin and myself a blueberry muffin. They ran out of bagels. Bummer. <laughs> okay, today I have to remember to unlock the side door. <laughs> 
too funny. Is that, ooh, my hair is all funky. Is that he's going to be calling me on my cell phone. Plus, I have to finish up some laundry. Um, finish up on mom's laundry from yesterday's sponge bath and doing her shampoo and all that good stuff and then um as you saw earlier today i had to drop off our suv uh the window it like fell like through like i guess first the motor the window motor must have failed and then somehow the window ended up slipping on the way home from work yesterday um, when jay was driving home luckily though our mechanic even though he is so swamped right now and especially throughout this whole pandemic he's down a few workers um, he was able to order another window for us and then he's gonna replace that so hopefully later on today we can go get the SUV back so until then Jay's running around the racy red <laughs> But that walk was great. It's so what I needed. After like, hello, having all these wonderful, wonderful meals that we have been enjoying. Um, seriously, I seriously need to get back into eating a little bit lighter. Getting back to my walks. Although, I gotta admit, I don't feel comfortable even going around and just walking. We just have so many people who are taking walks and the trail is just crazy. It's just not, it's just not worth it. So, um, I'm going to start doing a workout in the living room. So that should be fun. <laughs> so if you guys have some really good workouts that you guys follow, like on YouTube or something like that, can you leave a comment and help a girl out? I truly appreciate it for a beginner. <laughs> for a beginner yeah because all of the meals that we've been cooking lately have been mm, so good but not so good for the waistline if you catch my drift until the next one bye oh and if you haven't done already i would love it if you click that subscribe button right here check out the playlist down there and anything else i have down there <laughs> okay that's in the description box down below you can check out the other playlists until then guys bye